What's going on, everybody? My name is Restless Corpse. We're here with Lufia. We're in Lorbinia, but we need to go to Grenoble, which is down in the southwest. And apparently we have given up... Well, you know what? You know what I need to do, though? Let's see how much I'm going to make from killing enemies around here. Oh, it's the, same, it's the same enemies. Also, it didn't save my damn party makeup because a girl left the party. Well, after the... Oh, she actually managed to beast that guy down. After this is done, we'll have to redo the party makeup. But these guys aren't giving me any more of a challenge than they were over by Trek. Well, maybe just a tiny bit. But the gold is still about the same. So, let's go ahead and redo the combat order. And we're going southwest to Grenoble. 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 One of the two. One of the four or three that I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. She can't even kill a bat. At least it didn't hit the same one. Because we need to not only finish gearing Luffy up, but we need to gear Aguro up as well. Also, you know what? There could be a whole bunch of stuff up north that I'm missing. No, it's just a bunch of mountain ranges. Uh, I do kind of want to... Oh, here we go. Some rats. That's a new enemy. She can actually kill a kobold, I think. Oh, no. We got a tough rat. And a flying rat. And a walking upright rat. That's interesting. I didn't actually notice that. This fight is entirely of rodents. Because a kobold is technically like a humanoid rodent. And a bat is a flying rodent. Alright, let's just get here into Grenoble. Oh, there's a big ass cave over there. You guys see that? I don't need to hit the end, but I do want to go upstairs and check if there's anything I can pilfer. Nothing to pilfer people to talk to, though. Walking on the toxic Mars, sometimes you hit things you can't see. Those may be hidden treasures. Yeah, I know a little bit about those already, bro. Didn't know they were in the, the marshes, though. The old cave is a fabulous treasure that only women can find. Interesting. I think maybe the old cave is like an attraction of this town. I don't remember that. Oh, um, I, I, am I going to be upset that I spent all my money in Lorbenia? These strong weapons. No, it's the same stuff. And there's no armor shop? My husband hasn't returned from the old cave. I don't know what I'll do if something's happened to him. It's lucky that we have a woman in the party, right? There's the armor shop. Yeah, do a quick save. All right. Let's see what kind of armor they've got. It's the same stuff. Okay. That means that I know what we should be, like, working toward. Hey, buddy. Been to the old cave many times, but never reached the bottom. How far down can it go? If you heard the rumor, too, I'll let you pass for 50 gold pieces. Of, will you? All right, fine. I'll take that speed potion, though. Hey, buddy. The old cave holds many treasures, of course. Much has been stolen. Yeah, so... It, what? The hell? Where the hell are we? Are you serious? That's just... It just took me up here. Come on now. Dude, I just... Do I have to pay another 50? I, have to, I think I have to pay another 50, guys. No, I don't, because he's hanging out right there. Okay. Now there was a point to this, then. Because there is this guy that we need to go to. Uh, you get a new task for every five levels of experience you reach. Interesting. I don't remember this at all. I found some great treasure today. What kind of shop is this anyway? Well, you didn't know you still came. This shop takes treasures found in the old cave. So I got to come here to sell them, I guess. I've been living like this for 40 years. I'm a pro. Keep your hands off, understand? Do you know someone named Arteria? Oh, you mean the elf who fought at the Battle of Doom Island? I've heard of him. You don't understand how the game is played. When you ask for something, you have to, you know, get on your knees. I have a little money, if that's what you mean. But not money. What I want is fairy kiss treasure at the second level of the old cave. Only women can reach the fairy kiss. There's no way I can get it. I don't have any, sorry. Go to the second level and find the secret map. 
I'll do it. Uh, what level am I? Nine. So when I get one more level, I'll be able to take a different task, from what I understand, because he said every five levels. I'm going to be a treasure hunter when I grow up. Oh, hello, old lady. Do you have the power of the ring? The flash ring increases the power of flash magic. There are many kinds of rings. You must use them as each situation demands. You can't find rings in any shop. They're usually inside treasure chests. Okay, well, I would like to get my hands on a flash ring since I use flash pretty much all the time. But, let's go to the old cave. So, we need a fairy kiss for dude for story reasons, and we need a secret map for the uh, quest that we have. We'll get rid of all these kobolds. Before they could even act. Should have killed the bat first, maybe, because it's it's the fastest. I'm getting a lot of arrows. Okay, here we are. What? It's all commercialized and whatnot. Hey, buddy. In the elevator and love the switch. We're going down to second level. Second level is where the secret map is. Also, where Fairy Kiss is. I think. Really, you need you need like instructions to do that. We can only go to the second level. All right, here we go. Uh, most of these are going to be empty because they've already been looted. Which kind of makes it a weird dynamic. Like, going way out of your way to get a chest only to find that it has already been looted. And yeah, we're not fighting anything new here, apparently. I was hoping that there would be stronger enemies in here so I could make some money. But we'll see. Maybe there's a boss or something associated. I'm going to go down south in a second. But I want to look everywhere. Float. I guess would be decent. Oh, it's a Ruzard. I'm going to flash the hell out of that thing because I don't know. Uh, we got to get this kobold out of the way and then we'll go after these rats. Ah, oh, son of a... I was hoping to flash would kill it. Oh, he managed to kill that. Oh, I remember these damn rats now. Gotta get these rats down ASAP or they're just gonna keep calling help. But I think that it increases my reward. Like, the more I kill, the more experience and gold I'm gonna get. Come on, RC, hit him. Okay, he didn't call help that time. Yeah, look at that, 142 gold pieces. Excellent. Giant newts? What? What is this, the beginning of the game? Oh, no, those were big newts. These are giant newts. Okay. Whoops. I didn't know that he was going to one-shot that Ruzard. Not doing a whole lot of damage. I'm not really worried about him. Hopefully they'll give me some grilled newts, though. I think those work like potions. And it's nice to get things for free. Yep, cool. I'm I am actually getting decent money in here, guys. I actually didn't even realize that. I don't think she can use cloth shoes. Oh yeah, she can. Interesting. Wait a minute. No, I don't have anything. What are you? Only women may enter. Oh no. All right, we'll be right here if something happens. Okay, let's make sure... She's going to be fighting on her own, guys. Oh, but they're just giving me, like... They're taking pity on me with the enemies. I think that you screwed up, sir. Yeah, you sure did. Dress, hairband, heeled shoes... Fairy kiss, there it is, and earrings. Let's take a look at some of these things here. Obviously the dress is bad. The earring might be better, the earring is bad. Healed shoes, her defense goes down two, but her attack goes up five, holy shit, let's do that. 
Nice. Alright, well, that's uh, one quest down. Main quest, I guess. Yeah, we're fine. Let's go. Okay, see what they did there? So you see what they did there? They changed my combat order up again. But we're not done. We still need to find the map. Now that we are levitating. Oh, look, a tan shield. And a dragon egg. What the fuck? Well, he needs a tan shield. Oh, what's with the dragon egg? I don't... I don't know. I don't know what's up with the dragon egg, so we're going to hold on to it for now. I don't know if you can use it or if you need to sell it to the... Also, am I still floating? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow, that hurt. Okay. Well. Alright, cool. And the, uh, the number of parentheses there is actually really handy. It tells you how many times you can cast it with your current MP. So we're going to have to cast float again to get around this damn treasure chest here. Let's see how much her heel shoes are actually helping. A decent amount. I mean, she's still not a badass like the other two, but there's nothing to shake a stick at. Is there anything that indicates that I'm floating? It doesn't look like it. Okay, magic map's got to be in here. Secret map. There we go. That's what I was looking for. And a power ring. Hello. Oh my god, look how much power... Look how much extra attack power he gets. He would be up there with a girl, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to give him that. I'm going to give a girl the day's ring. Excellent. Maybe float lasts until you change screens. In which case, I obviously will now have to do Flash again. You can, okay, so do is an AoE, but it only goes amongst uh, enemy types. What am I doing? There we go. Get the hell out of here. Wow, she still can't kill a boar worm. Okay, everybody hit the rightmost one, except for Lufia. There you go. Cool. Strategy, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Float one more time. Good. Let's get the hell out of here. Now, if I ever need a grinding session uh, around now, like before I get further into the game anyway, this is a good place to go because I'm getting a ridiculous amount of money. And I'll be able to outfit everyone. Well, that one didn't give me a whole lot of money. But you know what I mean. Like the Kabul or the uh, the stuff exclusive to this place. Which I don't remember what they all are. Ah, uh, the, the rooster looking things and the rats and stuff give a decent amount of money. There we go. Learn anything? Drain. Excellent. So here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to leave you for a second, and I'm going to use the foul water, and I'm going to farm this this dungeon until the foul water wears off. So I will see you in a little bit. It will only be a half, about a half a second for you, but an eternity for me. And we're back. I, I decided to use two foul waters because I realized something. The only enemy in here that gives you a lot of gold is actually the Ruzards. And I'm calling them Ruzards instead of Ruzards because they're across between a rooster and a buzzard. But it turns out they give you 111 gold. And I wasn't finding any up by the doorway where I used the, the first foul water. And what foul water does is every step puts you into an encounter. So I had to get down here to fight the Ruzards. But... I got a decent amount of money. One of the main reasons I wanted to do that, though, was to get RC and Luffy at a 10 so that I can get the next quest 
for the uh, the old cave here. So now I'm on my way back to Grenoble to turn in this stuff. I think I'm not going to turn in the fairy kiss just yet, though. I'm going to turn in the, the map and see if it'll give me another one at level 10. But I got to get out of here first. No problem. Let's get the hell out of here. Turn this stuff in. And hopefully they'll give me a quest for floor three where I'll be able to fight even bigger and badder monsters and make even more money and experience. But who knows? They might be the same monsters. Now the first thing that we are going to do though is go to the end. Where was the end? Are you the end? You look like the end. Excellent. 40 gold, holy shit balls. All right, let's go see what we can do here. I gotta pay this guy another 50 just to get in. And then go to the super secret club. Hey buddy. Wow, man, thanks. Okay, let's talk to this lady. Excellent. All right, let's see if I can get another one. What? He said every five levels. Maybe a girl needs to be a higher level too. Ah, fuck it. Let's give this guy his thing then. See the man in the tower, Northwest Town, Northwest Tower. He's a strange one. Won't meet anybody unless they show him this letter from me. It's Artea's apprentice, so he must know something. Excellent. All right, let's save it and get off to that tower. Where the hell was, oh, you know what? But before we do that, let's outfit everybody. Okay, so she has the robe. She could use a tan shield, which is weird because she's a magic user, but you know, whatevs. And then the glass cap. So I'm gonna get her a tan shield and a glass cap. We'll equip those, and then we'll outfit a girl as well. Neither of those. All right, cool. Let's sell that crap, and then outfit a girl. Oh, I can sell a lot of this stuff. Sell the sandals, the dress, the hairband, the earrings, the other earrings, the cloth shoes. I'm not selling the dragon egg. Okay. I just wanted to see if it would show me how much it would sell for, though. Now let's look and see what a Garo needs. He needs tan armor, a tan helm, just tan armor and a tan helm. So we're actually going to come out of here with a little bit of money. Cool. Alright, sell that crap back, go sell it, or save it and then make our way to that tower is that everything yeah all right cool i don't know what the hell this dragon egg is gonna do but it's cool that i have one you know it might come in handy later but let's get the hell out of here northwest tower let's go around this without rather than casting float All right, so now we're fighting stuff that you would find in the dungeon, the old cave, which I guess is cool. These rats, though, they can be annoying if you can't take them out in one hit, which RC and a girl can do. But if you can't take them out in one hit, it can get really annoying because they can just call help over and over and over and over again to the point where you have to run away. <laughs> I think there might be a limit to how many times one rat can call, but like, if one rat calls, let's say the limit is three times and the rat calls three times, and then you kill that rat, well the ones that he called have new limits so they can call three times. I don't know if that's how it works, but I'm pretty sure. Alright, so here we're going to get a decent amount of money. Uh, let's go ahead and use flash on those, get them out of the way. Yeah. 
Oh, he's just getting help, huh? I don't know if it can go past the limit of the group already. So, like, three of them spawned initially. I don't know if there can be four on screen. Oh, we got the new one immediately. And the Roosters are dropping aprons, which is weird, because they're even worse than dresses. Oh, here we go. This is going to be 333 gold from this fight. Which is the only way I found out that they, they give 111. It's because I fought three of them while I had my, uh, my foul water on. Oh, 343. There's only 333 in the cave. So I'm going to assume I'm going the right way. This is really far. There's the tower. I'm also going to assume that I have to fight all the way up this damn tower. Okay. Treating this like a dungeon, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to find everything in this tower. Huge bunny! Oh, uh, we better take that huge bunny out. ASAP. Because he looks very sinister. Oh, and that goblin, clearly not as strong as the goblins that were holding the ship. That's good. Is that a bigger crab than normal? Oh, look at that gold. And that experience isn't bad either. Okay. Uh, I think this might actually be progression. If it is, then we need to turn around and go the other way. Yeah. But I'm going to go in that door because it's probably a treasure room. There we go. I'm probably going to find some of the gear that I just bought as well. I mean, that's how these games work. But let's go the other way and check it out, and then we'll come back to that staircase. If it indeed turns out to be a dead end with gear, or if it turns out to be progression, then obviously we'll turn around and go back. I'm going to save her MP for healing, because this tower might be a long dungeon. Okay, so the goblins are what's giving me so much money in here. That's good. I'm guessing this is a treasure room. Maybe. Many crabs. Why are you doing this to me? Can't kill these things in one hit for some reason. Oh, she can. And they hit decently hard. We're just gonna... I mean, this is... It would turn out to be a long fight otherwise. But, looks like we got it. We got it, no problem. We prevailed like the heroes that we are. Bring on the Sinistrals and whatnot. Zombies. Alright, let's see how Flash does with zombies. I know that RC can kill a Ruzer in one hit. Flash did 35, I think, and it didn't kill it. So the zombies clearly have a lot of HP, and they're hitting really hard. Okay, they have, a, I would say, about 40 HP. Nice amount of gold, though. The zombies coupled with the uh, Ruzer. But we need some healing. That's good enough for now. I think this might be a progression, guys. Nope. Sonic Ring. Let's see what that does. Uh, it's defense and agility. That's good for her since she needs to be able to cast heals and whatnot. Being able to act a little bit quicker is good. It's a pretty easy fight here. Did she already attack or no? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess she attacked first. Her agility must be higher than everyone else's. That's crazy. Maybe I should give the Sonic Ring then to Aguro. His agility is only 17. Hers is 30. Holy, she doesn't need that much agility, guys. I'm going to give him the Sonic Ring because this is only defense 
and magic resistance. So I'm gonna give him the sonic ring and give her the daze ring. She's getting hit really hard anyway. That way, my strongest attacker can go a little bit faster. And this is a really long path for it to be nothing. It's progression, I think. I think you could jump out of the tower from there. So you don't have to cl climb all the way back. That's just my guess. Nice. Maybe they have 30... They must have 36 HP then. Huh. Yeah, this is definitely progression. I'm sorry guys, but I have to go all the way back. We're just gonna take the shortcut. There we go. So unless there's two ways to go for progression, this one is ultimately going to lead to some gear. Or treasure, I should say. It's not always gear. Sometimes it's just potions and whatnot. At least somebody killed something. Shit. Uh, yeah, you might as well hit the goblins since you've already hit them once. Easy. Easy strategy, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I got a ribbon. Now, if this were a Final Fantasy game, that ribbon would be awesome. Oh, he can't even use it. Nope, it's not as good. The ribbons in Final Fantasy games generally, like, protect you from all status ailments or something. I already went that way. That was a treasure room. Uh-oh. Oh, no. All right, we got two different groups of enemies. I'm going to take these mages out first because they scare me. Oh, that guy hits pretty hard. Come on, girl. There you go. Easy shit. 80 experience and high magic. Excellent. So I can be a little bit more loose with my MP, I guess. Let's take those red magi out. Even though... The zombies are pretty tough. I don't want to see what these magi can do. There we go. And then we'll just beat these zombies down. Uh-oh, RC. You all right, buddy? Come on, kill it. There we go. There's a nice amount of gold in here. Give everybody up to as close to tip-top shape as possible. All right, let's get this fight out of the way. All right, I was afraid that he was going to kill it in one hit, and I would have wasted a Guro. But I kind of, kind of wasted a Guro anyway, because he probably didn't have very much HP left, and a Guro could have beasted that mini crab. There we go. Did a girl ever get his level up? Yeah, he's 10. All right, so I think when we get back to Grand Obel, I might be able to get the next quest. Yeah, like, what the hell? What? How many? Oh, okay, it just looped around, so I was right. There's two different paths to progression. So I guess that was kind of pointless. Whatever. Getting experience and money. That's what it's all about in these RPGs, right? Come on, newts. Bunch of gingriches up in this piece. Some grilled gingrich. Okay, well, I could jump off that way. That's good to know. Uh-oh. Alright, she's gonna fight that zombie while everybody else takes care of all the other stuff. Still don't know what the bunnies can do. Hopefully it's nothing crazy. Maybe they just attack. I don't know. I'm worried about status ailments. Oh, he just beasted that fight in one hit. Oh, they hit really hard, though. 
No, ah, uh, she probably could have finished that bunny off. Oh well. Come on, RC. Get your stuff out there, buddy. Oh, uh, I was thinking she might have actually been able to take that zombie out since she hit him once already. How are these zombies so agile? It's 28 days later, zombies. Mine gourd and power gourd. I'm not really interested in the gourds. Uh, that remember in the in an earlier episode when I talked about how I used to run out, or run away from everything, and then, you know, have a really hard time with the bosses. That's how I used to beat them. Was that I saved up all the gourds and I had gear from towns that I hadn't, I like wasn't supposed to be at yet, and I would just like stock my dude up, my dudes up on stats from the gourds, and get it done. But hopefully I won't have to do that this time. Uh-oh. Yep, that's an AoE. That's why I did not want them to act. Okay, please kill the second Magi. Nope, you killed the first one. Now the second one is still going to act. Oh no, not my MP. I need that. I need a spell that will heal everyone at once. So I don't have to do this. No, I can't. I was looking to see if it would uh, it would full target party if I had used left or right, but clearly it does not. Let's get rid of these goblins real quick. I know I can beast them down in one hit. I can beast anything in this fight down to one hit with RC and a girl. Flash, you son of a bitch. Oh, I was going to be afraid if she didn't kill it, then one of their attacks would miss because the goblin would clearly die. Okay, now I'm confused, guys. Because I don't have anywhere else to go. Unless I'm completely missing something. Let's flash that rat and we'll have a girl fight the zombies. At least, unless I'm just forgetting uh, a path that I didn't take. I was pretty sure that this was the only path. Am I supposed to jump off the side here or something? All right, now, come on, super fast-ass zombies. All right, what am I missing here? Oh, come, every, oh my god. All right, let's, let's try do, see how that works. Not very well. Maybe it'll kill that third one, though. Yep. All right, so every, uh, all the other ones should die in one hit from RC or Aguro now. Once again, strategy, ladies and gentlemen. Man, they are tearing a girl up. Stop! Alright, well, I'm gonna magic these guys up. But, that is all the time I've got, guys. I, I was hoping to finish this before I had to, you know, time out. But, we'll pick it up next time. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more videos of Luffy or any of the other videos that I've done, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you have anything to say, throw it down in the comments. Remember, my name is Restless Corpse, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. I said that out of order, but whatever.